Have you heard of Kangen water and want to know the truth about the science behind it? Maybe you're a skeptical chemist or physician, or you just don't believe what you have heard or read online. Hi, my name is Martin W. Ball, and it's important for me to be very, very clear with you right at the beginning of this video so that you know what angle I'm coming from. I'm not scientifically minded in any way. I don't make decisions based on what science has said is good or not good for me because I understand the universal law of polarity. So I choose to make my own decisions based on my own intuition and throughout my life it has worked extremely well for me. However, this video is going to be a simple overview of the science because there is nothing complicated about what I'm about to tell you. It is basic science about the Enagic Ionizer and also about Kangen water. And as I have had a physician explain this all to me, in his own words, anybody who claims to know the science and doesn't understand this, just doesn't know science. For myself, I have owned an Inagi KA Japanese certified medical water device. And yes, I did say that right. My Inagi KA water ionizer is a Japanese certified medical water device. I have owned it since February 2015 after watching two videos that were sent to me. Now, one was a live water testing demonstration and the second was a basic overview of the science. Now, as I am someone who owns an Enagic Ionizer and has been drinking Kangen water now for over five years, I am speaking from personal experience, not my opinion, not my assumption. And because I have been researching and then educating people about the water since February 2015, I have dealt with many people who have challenged me, which was based on their own limited knowledge. Today, I have debunked many YouTube doctors, professors, health professionals and Google wellness advocates who have simply voiced their opinions and assumptions as to what Kangen water is, rather than being able to inform their audience on the truth. When I am greeted with an open mind though by these people, then I am able to help them learn the truth. However, there are still those whose cups are full. They don't want to hear the truth. And at this point in this video, I truly hope that isn't you. So what is Kangen water? Well, first of all, Kangen water is the registered name given to the water produced from an Enagic ionizer. Enagic originated in Japan and the Japanese meaning for the word Kangen means return to origin, basically to your healthiest balanced state. For Kangen water to be produced, it must pass through a Japanese certified medical water device, which is made by Enagic. Now, what is important to know whilst we're on about the technology to produce Kangen water is that to get a product approved in Japan as a medical device is arguably the most difficult of any country in the world. And yet I have one in my own kitchen, which I use every single day. And just to understand how hard it is to get a product approved in Japan as a medical device, Ron Hicks, the CEO of Herdex Incorporated, has over 25 years of disruptive product development and senior management experience in the medical device industry. His private portfolio of patented products has won numerous awards in engineering, tooling, and design. He and his team developed several highly successful products that revolutionized the medical device industry in the US and throughout the world. It took Ron 12 years to get his medical device approved in Japan, yet it was just seven years to get it certified in other countries around the world. That's another five years on top of the rest of the world because Japan has the strictest quality control levels and here I am with a Japanese certified medical water device sat in a kitchen. Now Rob's wife purchased an Enagic SD501 ionizer and he was not impressed. So he had his 10 engineers who he referred to as the best engineers in the medical device industry take apart his wife's new Enagic SD501 water ionizer to find the flaws in it. He then goes on to say that each of his engineers contacted his wife and ordered their own Enagic ionizers. This goes on to show that we are talking about quality here. Kangen water is produced through a process called electrolysis. This is now where we start to leave the registered name behind and focus on the actual scientific name of the water, which is called electrolyzed reduced water. To produce electrolyzed reduced water, the first of all must be a mineral in the source water entering the Enagic ionizer. And this is why millions of people have them in their homes and use them every single day. Then, as the water passes through the electrolysis chamber, a charge is put through the water. As an electrolysis device, it is splitting the water into two, separating the positive and negative ions within your water, which is then increasing the hydroxide ions within the negatively charged water to make it more alkaline, whilst increasing the hydrogen ions in the positively charged water to make it more acidic, 
all depending on what you want to use the type of water for. As you can see, the Kangen water coming from the top of the unit has an abundance of hydroxide to help alkalize your body, whereas the water from the base of your kanganate unit has a low pH making it more acidic. Now we know that water is made up of two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen, which we call H2O. As the charge hits the water, it disassociates the H2O molecule, breaking off a hydrogen ion. This hydrogen ion carries a positive charge and is what would make a liquid acidic. The remaining one part hydrogen and one part oxygen is now classed as a hydroxide ion. This hydroxide ion carries a negative charge and is what would make a liquid alkaline. This is where we can clearly understand the difference between chemically altered alkaline water and electrically altered alkaline water, which is also known as alkalized water. The chemically altered alkaline water has minerals added into it to create this change. Extra minerals which could potentially build up in your system and create further stress to your body, possibly resulting in alkalosis when also consumed with an alkaline diet. Whereas electrically altered alkaline water, also known as alkalized water, cannot build up in your system as it is a charge. Just like any charge, once it has left its energy source, it dissipates. When there is enough charge put through the water, the disassociation of both hydrogen atoms takes place to some of the water molecules. These are now unstable and bond together as H2, which is a gas and is also known as molecular hydrogen, which has hundreds of studies backing it up with its benefits as a free radical scavenger, also known as a powerful antioxidant. When it comes to research, many people choose to disempower themselves by going to Google. Google is a tremendous search engine, although it is full of people's opinions. People who want you to land on their website and buy their products or create more followers for themselves. I've even found one very well-known doctor who has a blog on his website speaking against structured water from an ionizer, yet two months later he has an interview with somebody who he refers to as a leader in water and hydration, where he agrees with this man that the best water we can drink from our own home is structured water from an ionizer. And he has both of those for and against blogs on his website so that he can attract people to his website who are looking for the positive or negative and on his site he sells his own products. So really, can these people be trusted? Let's be real here. We are talking about something you are going to put into your body and encourage your family members to also put it into theirs. Therefore, do some clinical research. And this is why it's important to know where to go for further research. PubMed is world renowned and comprises more than 30 million citations of biomedical literature from Medline, life science journals and online books, so it is a very good place to start. Then there is also Google Scholar, not Google, Google Scholar, which will search for scholarly literature. So only credible scholarly material is included and put in front of you. Whenever I am challenged, I refer people to learn more from PubMed and Google Scholar, which help back up what I am sharing. When you type electrolyzed reduced water into the PubMed search bar, there are hundreds of studies to look through, and there are many performed on humans. For those of you though who don't mind animal studies, there are plenty more. Although from an animal testing angle, it's important to note that we are dealing with water and not chemicals like in the skincare and personal care industries. Here are a couple of studies on PubMed. So here we are on the PubMed website. I've put in the electrolyzed reduced water at the top and as you can see there's over 240 search results and there's more being added constantly there's plenty of results down here and i'm just going to flick through a couple that i've brought up as we can see very simple that the the results are there the information is there around the testings finding different things that you can go and search for yourself find out a lot of information and when you type electrolyzed reduced water into the google scholar search bar there are thousands of related studies that show. Here we have a couple of studies from Google Scholar for you to view. So here we are on Google Scholar and I've put in electrolyzed reduced water there. And as you can see, there's over 35,000 results and there's more being found all the time. There's just absolutely heaps of information that you can source. And here's some of the, the results. I've just clicked on a few of the links and we've got different information here. Plenty of references down the bottom as well as over on this one as well going through and there's just so much information that you can find plenty of references to help you learn more let's not forget about molecular hydrogen and the hundreds of link studies there as well so here we are on pubmed and i've put in molecular hydrogen there as we can see we've got 1 to 20 studies of 21,000 plus 
And if I re removed the human studies, we'd be looking at over 654,000. So there's a hell of a lot of studies um, all the way through. As you, as you know, we've gone through this before. So much information. You look at molecular hydrogen here. There's more information um, around this as well. And then we come over to this side. This one's an interesting one, a pilot study of H2 therapy in Parkinson's disease, a randomized blind study placebo controlled trial, and down the bottom conclusion here, the results indicated that drinking H2 water was safe and well tolerated, and a significant improvement in total UPDRS scores for patients in the H2 water group was demonstrated. So we are talking about something that really is making a difference here. Now these sites are here to help people find the studies they want to see, although for me, there is absolutely no way I would make my own decisions based on studies. If you are the kind of person who relies on studies to make your decisions, then I believe you may end up missing out on some very key choices which positively could impact your life. One thing I learned very, very quickly though, there are people who research and research and research, and in fact, some people never stop researching. Some are constantly researching for the negatives whilst others are constantly searching for the positives. And yet it is important to know this, for there to be something wrong with a product or service, there has to be something right with it. It's all down to the universal law of polarity. So this has been a quick video overview of the basic science. Thank you for your time and I look forward to educating you further. And please make sure you get back in touch with the person who sent this video to you, or feel free to connect with me and I will help you get the information you need to help you purchase one of your own Enagic Japanese certified medical water devices. Bye for now. Enjoying my YouTube channel? Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell to receive further value.